So we've got our Secchi disc here. We're gonna use to measure how clear the water is and also to measure the depth right down to the bottom uh, at our spot. And so you'll notice the disc is marked out into black and white quadrants. And so this helps us see it when uh, it goes down to the water and you can tell when it disappears and reappears. So we're just gonna lower this down. You'll notice your rope is marked uh, with black and red zip ties. So the black zip ties mark every meter and then the red zip tie indicates the five meter mark uh, just for ease of counting. So we'll lower this down until you can't see that black and white disc anymore. And when you get to the spot where you can't see it, you're gonna take one of your clothespins and put it right where the water meets the rope. And then you're gonna raise the rope up until you can just start to see the disc again. So you're marking those two depths. They should be pretty close together. So where it disappears and then reappears. Okay, so I've got my two de uh, depths here. I'll raise it all the way back up. So we've got count to our uh, first zip tie. So this is one meter. And then we're gonna measure in between uh, the two clothespins. So kind of right at that halfway point. So you can put your finger there and move one of your clothespins. So it's easier to measure. Take your other one off so you don't get confused. And then we're gonna use the ruler uh, in centimeters to measure the rest of that uh, distance more accurately. So we've got, uh, looks like 12 centimeters. So that's our one meter plus 12 centimeters. So 1.12 meters will go into your data sheet. So now we're gonna do this again, but this time let the disc go all the way down to the bottom so we can get the total depth. And same thing, you're gonna take your clothespin right at the water surface. Can be tricky if the boat is moving. Ideally, you would want to set an anchor, which we uh, were not able to. Bring your disc back up. So now you can use those zip ties to count. So again, we've got one meter, two meters, and now we'll use our ruler for the last bit. And this is 73 centimeters. So 2.73 meters is the total depth at this spot. And that's how we do our water clarity and depth reading.